Wow, dude, new YMS merch? Hmm, suspicious. Get yours at ymsmerch.com. Thank you. So I just saw the new Jerry Seinfeld movie, Unfrosted, and it was a painfully unfunny, cringe-worthy piece of shit. And Jerry did not just star in this film, no, he also wrote and directed it. It's his project, and meanwhile, he's going around on interviews talking about how the extreme left has killed comedy. You just can't do anything funny anymore! Like my Pop-Tarts movie, it would have had so many edgy jokes, but I just couldn't do it! It's not funny! I, for one, welcome the fact that so many people are now realizing that Larry David is what made Seinfeld funny in the first place. Curb Your Enthusiasm had its final season this year, and it was still edgy, and it was still very funny. It's a good thing we made B-Movie in 2007, back when you could be funny. That's why that movie's so funny. I'm dating a baby. Thank you, Jerry Seinfeld, for being one of the last bastions of anti-woke, super funny, haha, great comedy. It's just such great great writing. You're such a great writer. You're such a funny comedian. And you do it better than anybody. Uh oh, thanks. I mean, I always said that about you, like the, the act that like every single person can love and the most intelligent person in the room is also not insulted by it. Right. I think you might find that in, in Unfrosted, the, the Pop-Tart movie. It's a silly I idea for a movie. But it, and the jokes are silly, but as we know, there are no silly jokes. They're, they're either good or they're not. And you'll find there's a level of sophistication in the silliness. Could it be that, hmm, I don't know, you're just not funny? You think that might be the issue? Let's look at exactly what type of caliber the jokes are in this film. Kellogg, sugar frosted flakes, they're so right. Haha, ha, that joke is funny because we as audience members already know the slogan of Frosted Flakes and so we know that the one he's saying there is not what eventually becomes the slogan. It's funny that he said the wrong one. That is a joke. That is my ultimate. When I first saw Monty Python when I was a kid on PBS, mm. the sophisticated silliness that they were doing absolutely lit me up like this is everything that I want. Double the sugar, triple the gluten, and spell fruit, F-R-O-O-T. There's no fruit in here. Thank you for playing the funny music so that we know the scene's supposed to be funny. It's, it's funny music so that you laugh. See, we're funny. The music says so. Haha, <laughs> this one's funny because we already know that Kellogg spells it F-R-O-O-T, and so we can see before they spelled it that way, he's showing, he's like, you should do it that way, and we should be like, oh, wow, dude, the fruit loops wow dude wow dude snap crackle and pop from rice krispies wow dude the quaker guy remember wheelo the it's a toy in this time period i think wow wheelo it's got a certain tang. Ooh, that's a good name. The joke here is that we know that the product is eventually called Tang. We see them name it because he says it's got a certain Tang. And she says, that's a good name. Wow, dude, Tang. Tang. There's a level of sophistication in the silliness. Wow, dude, Chef Boyardee. It's Chef Boyardee. Wow, dude, Sea Monkeys. Remember Sea Monkeys? Sea Monkeys. They're pitching ideas, and the ideas are bad. That's funny, because ideas are supposed to be good. And the humor is that they're bad ideas, and everybody goes, that's a bad idea. Why are you making the bad ideas? There's a level of sophistication in the silliness. Oh, another scene of bad pitches. It's funnier the second time, and they're all bad ideas. And the joke is that they're not good ideas, and Jerry Seinfeld's character is going, whoa. That's not a good idea. And they're all like, no, it's a good idea, I swear. That's the joke, that they're pitching ideas that aren't good, and that's the montage. I said strawberries, you fool. Uh-oh, SpaghettiOs. Wow, dude, SpaghettiOs. Chef Boyardee said, uh-oh, SpaghettiOs. Uh, SpaghettiOs are a product that you might remember. That's why it's funny. He said the name of a product. That's a joke. Wow, dude, Andy Warhol. It's funny because it's supposed to be Andy Warhol. That's the joke. There's a scene where they get Steve to test out the Pop-Tarts, and it's so exaggerated. You see, in a normal movie, 
they would do it normal, but this movie's just so wacky and over the top and just zany and hilarious. See, he's in a space suit, and then he something happens and he blows ah! up, and it's like, whoa, that's a crazy thing to happen in a movie. I'm just, I'm fucking rolling out of my seat all the way into my grave and still laughing. The little grave boy had to dig me up because I was laughing so loud. Wait, over there, what's that? Is that a man? Steve Schwinn, Steve! No, it's me, Chuck. Steve blew up. <sighs> you see, that, that part's funny because they thought Steve lived, and then he said, I'm not Steve, and Steve's actually dead. Steve blew up. Ah! The joke is that you maybe thought that Steve was fine after, but the movie is so edgy and morbid. This doesn't just feel like a bunch of rich, out-of-touch morons LARPing with each other. Yeah, that was, that was a character. Ah! This is what satire is. It's when you do something and don't try, right? Steve was... Great. Ha ha, wa ha, whoa. The, this is a funeral. The mascots don't belong at funerals. Most funerals don't have cereal mascots at them. That is the comedy. That's the joke. Most funerals don't do that. There's mascots for cereal at the funeral. It's funny. CG milk. They couldn't afford real milk. I don't know why the milk was CG. Wow, dude, Snap, Crackle, and Pop are saying their names at a funeral. It's like they're folding a flag, but it's breakfast themed. It's a brand and you recognizing the brand in of itself is the humor. The brand. The brand. What the hell are you wearing? It was all they had for me. It was Taft's. William Howard Taft. First 300 pound president. It's funny that he's wearing a big suit and it's because they're visiting the president and they, they said it was Taft's and Taft was fat and they explain it for us in case we didn't understand that. They literally say that he was the first 300 pound president and they put a chocolate in his pocket. It's a baby Ruth. There's a half eaten baby Ruth in the pocket. That's a brand. It's funny. Guys, it's funny. Start laughing. I'm funny. There's a level of sophistication in the silliness. Wow, dude, Cranky Kong. Wow, dude, Jan 6. Yo, why does this movie have to get political? You just can't make comedy anymore. The left is destroying comedy. It's Jan 6, but th there's mascots. It's the cereal people. It's a funny. This is a satire because you know what Jan 6 was? And we're doing that. That's what satire is. You show a thing and people recognize it. You can tell it's satire because Jerry does a silly face sometimes. See, I'm not actually trying and that's the joke. The movie is not bad. It's satire. Oh, hey, it's Amy Schumer, a great and funny comedian. I wonder what she has to say. Oh, there's always a surprise inside the box. Isn't there, Eddie? That was a funny joke because box means vagina. She said my vagina. Melissa McCarthy is also in the movie, and Jerry does not know how to direct her. He does not know how to write a character for her. She has some strengths, but Jerry has no idea how to put those in his movie. This pathetic excuse for a film has no sense of pacing whatsoever. The editing in this movie is fucking atrocious. These cuts are from the movie. We did not make these cuts. This is how quick a lot of the cuts are in this movie. This is how the movie is shot. He does not know how to film a scene. The framing is terrible. It's stale. It's bland. There is no artistry to be found here. There is no talent to be found here. Unsurprisingly, Jerry does not know how to write for or direct children. The children in this film are awful. Is it? Or is it some hot fruit lightning the man doesn't want you to have? You've got your name right there. The first letter of each word. Toaster ready anytime treat. Put on plate. Trap pop. The joke is that we know it's called Pop-Tart, so we know that that's not the name. They said it's something that sounded similar. That's the funny. That's the funny, everybody. 
That's the funny. They say the word dingus many times in this film. That's a funny word. You can just say the word and it's funny. Dingus. I'm honestly impressed that someone was able to turn the word dingus into something that wasn't funny. Honestly, literally every other time I've heard someone say the word dingus, it was funny. But they say it a lot in this film and it never is. For the entire runtime of this film, I laughed once and it was at an emote that someone posted in chat called lives from base. And I don't remember the context, but I found that to be a funny emote. So here they made a fake commercial and whoever edited this didn't understand that to make something look old, you don't fucking pixelate it because old film was on film. It wasn't shot with digital cameras. Pixelation is from digital video compression. This isn't an old YouTube upload. This is also the first film to make Bill Burr not funny. He's not funny. They somehow made Bill Burr not funny. And since he's playing JFK, he's trying to do the accent, but he's not doing a great job. You have to win. Are you making any progress? I guess at the end of the day, this movie is uh, bad in a different way than the Cheetos movie was. That movie was kind of disgusting. Corporate propaganda pretending to be a real story. And this movie is also disgusting. Corporate propaganda pretending to be satire without understanding satire. According to Jerry, this movie was made without the permission of Pop-Tarts, which might be true, I don't know. You'd think that a movie made under those circumstances would be a bit more critical about what they're covering. I'm talking about happy childhoods for millions of American kids. A bit more actual commentary or jokes or, I don't know, satire. You made a movie without their permission that they loved so much that they're promoting. You made an ad for Pop-Tarts. this make you uncomfortable? I'll step out. These things are the greatest two rectangles since the Ten Commandments. Yeah, it's a satire that achieves the exact same goals that it would have if it wasn't. It's so silly. Wow, it's so silly. This is the Pop-Tarts movie that they didn't want you to see. There's so much substantive commentary on breakfast. There's a level of sophistication in the silliness. All right, this movie was fucking painful. Absolute garbage. I don't know what else there is to say about it. It's like if Tim and Eric were bad at satire. It is not smart enough to be satire. It's just shit. It's fucking garbage. None of the jokes are jokes. Jerry Seinfeld is a comedian that doesn't understand comedy. They have zero understanding of how to make a film at all. My life is worse from having seen this film. Do not watch it. Embarrassing. Easy one out of 10. Absolutely disgusting. Pure garbage. Dude, new YMS merch. John! Get Get me out of here! Father, get yours at ymsmerch.com. Thank you. Thank <laughs> you.